So when the internet was built, it wasn't built with an essential piece of plumbing, and that was called identity. Because internet identity spans across multiple providers, when a, a user's account is compromised on one provider, that can often lead to that user getting compromised at other providers too. Because a lot of websites still have an old world model, which is we want to get as much information about our users as possible, and we want to keep it to ourselves. We don't want to share it. And what that does nowadays is set them up for breaches and for a lack of trust with their users. These intertwined relationship between identity and privacy has become much more clear in the last 10 years. You needed to have an identity layer that connected everybody and all these different services and allow them to interoperate. So now we have to retrofit identity standards and systems into the web. But there was also a huge risk that if everyone creates their own identity system, there are a lot of security implications. And the interesting thing about identity to me is it's not something that any one party can solve. It's that diversity of opinions and experiences in the ecosystem that really brings lots of strength to these standards. Wanted to have an open standard that people weren't forced to pay royalties to. So we have in OpenID Foundation a team of rivals company to company, but technology to technology and business sector to business sector. A league of backstabbing competitors that all are working together on a common goal. That's what standardization is. We build a good standard and we compete upon that. We're trying to set the standards of not only what is the, the protocol, but deploying it in a repeatable way so that a relying party in Canada can use an identity provider in Botswana. We wanted it to be just drop dead simple for a developer to say, oh, I need identity. There's this connect thing. It's not very hard. Why don't I just do that? Now, OpenID Connect is not a big brand that consumers know about. In fact, what they don't know is if they have an Android phone and they're using the Google Play Store, they're using OpenID Connect. The OpenID Foundation really is a specialized organization that looks at internet identity from the point of view of interoperability. The industry is finally getting serious about trying to not have to have people enter passwords all the time. We have to trust that you are who you say you are that the website is the website that you think you're connecting to. And we have to do that because we want to transact. We want to do stuff together. So you can't do stuff together without trust, and you can't trust without having a verified identity experience. OpenID Connect is a synthesis of many of the things that went before it. So we learn from our mistakes. We must not forget that we do the IPR controls. For the standard to be freely available, and usable to build the systems. OpenID Connect and the JSON Web Token and the stuff related to all that succeeded. There's a profile being worked on of Connect for government and high value commercial applications. That's important work. So open standards are really a key for both the users and the providers of identity and other services on the internet. And that's the important role that OpenID Foundation is doing.